This is a 360 view of where I camped last night. This is the uh, good camp spot with the fire pit just off of uh, Virginia Ridge Road. Fire pit had some trash in it. Um, but I didn't really hear any animals last night. Nothing. Been a slow start today. It's already 10.30. I've been up since 6. Um, I laid in the tent until probably around 8, 8.15. Uh, my, my leg bothered me all night long. I don't think I got much sleep. But uh, it took me probably 15 minutes just to crawl out of the tent using uh, Crocs on one foot on one hand, a trekking pole in the other hand, <laughs> uh, trying to crawl out on my hands and knees so I could get where I could stand up. Um, if I would have known it was going to be like that, I would have took ibuprofen last night and during the night. So uh, I got up though and I had, already had my water, I got it last night for this morning. So I fixed breakfast, which I've already ate, and coffee. And took a double dose of ibuprofen. And I've mostly been just kind of sitting around waiting on it to kick in. <laughs> um, I'm pretty certain that once it, once, once it does, I'll be fine. But uh, that's, the, that's the status update for this morning. I'll update later. There's a cave over there that doesn't look like that it's blocked off. It's got two entrances, one there on the left, on the side, and then one down on the bottom on the front. I've been walking along this uh, Forest Service Road past the camp. It's almost 1 p.m. I'm like just crawling along, but my leg is starting to feel a little better, or I should say the vitamin I is starting to kick in. Um, there's a 12-mile road walk. I keep running by all these flowers. I've taken pictures of most of the different species. The orange ones, those remind me of my friend. Let me see if I can get in there. Remind me of my friend Tori. I don't know why. 
every time I see them, I always think a Tory. Can't get it to focus. Well, they're pretty, whatever they are. So what I was getting at, looks like I got another 12 mile road walk ahead of me today. Um, with a heavy pack since I just picked up my resupply. Six days food, I don't remember what it was. Probably around, you know, heavier than yesterday's. Yesterday morning I had like seven, seven and a half pound pack. Now I think it's back up around 20 because I got six days of food. Um, also, there's 12 miles with no water along that road walk. And there's a water source right about where it starts that I hope has water in it. And what I'm going to do is uh, stop there for a break, some snacks, and... Uh, I'll try to drink a liter of water there and then I'll take 20 ounces with me. I've been only taking about 20 ounces of water for every five miles since I started this seven, seven days ago, I think. Let's see, I started, I started last Saturday, so yeah, seven, seven days ago. Today is actually Sunday. Yeah, this is the eighth day. But, uh, let me shut this off and keep moving. Oh, the point I was going to make. I kind of had a realization that, you know, I had a, a certain amount of time to get this done in. And, uh, the first week, mileage-wise, was kind of low-ish. I set around 13 to 15 miles a day, and then some days I would peak at around 18 to 20, just to make sure I could do that. What I was ramping up for though was the second half where I have 18 plus mile days every day except for one. I've got uh, about 97 miles, give or take. I don't think, I don't think that 97 miles includes the reroute by Cave Run. So it's probably really It's probably more like 101 miles, but either way. Um, and I've only got this week to do it in. I have to be back at work a week from tomorrow. So, 7 into 100. What is that, about uh, 7.30, 4. i got to do about 15 miles a day, every day to get it done over seven days. I wanted to get it done in five days. I got some other stuff to do. But uh, we'll see. Um, up here, looks like some gadget. I just noticed way up here. Whatever that is. I'll record more when I get up here if it's interesting. Right before you turn right on uh, Kentucky 1036, which is right before the last water stop, before you do the 12 mile to McGill's Pizza. So that is a trail mile 184.47 in my outdated book. That was before the uh, Southern Terminus extension. It's this really cool place to uh, stop and take a break. You can sit on the rocks. There's that flat one right there that you could cook dinner on or something. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't planning on that rock to be there, and I'm stopping at the water source because I have no water to cook with. 
Still walking along this road walk. Let me tell you something that sucks about road walks. I don't know if you can tell or not. This asphalt is relatively new. So it's still black. And although I'm in shade every now and then, there's long walks of sunlight where I'm using the trekking umbrella to provide at least some shade. But the asphalt is still super hot. So you have to stop more often to take breaks to let your feet cool down. Otherwise you're going to end up with blisters. But let me tell you the biggest thing I hate about them now, as of today. Let's say you're walking along. Vehicles are passing you every now and then. You're going by people's houses and people's dogs are running out to give you a hard time. And then you feel that in your stomach like... Bloop, bloop, bloop. And you're like, oh man. Not now. So you try to ignore it. And you keep walking. And you're like, I think I got a fart. But it's probably really a shark. So you're afraid to do anything. Your stomach's been bubbling for an hour. And I don't know if the Forest Service owns any of this property on either side of the road. I've had motorcycles go by, trucks go by, cars go by throughout the day. So it ain't like I can just drop trowel on the side of the road. Uh, on my left is, you know, going downhill and on my right is going uphill. And uh, just not a good day. I'll be glad when these road walks are over. Actually, I'll be glad when this trail's over. I'm done walking roads. Quick update. I am almost at Natural Bridge State Park. I uh, met a guy named Cody Haynes. Big shout out to him for giving me a Coca-Cola and a uh, and a lift. So I cut down some of those road miles. Um, just overall a generous and nice guy. Um, when he dropped me off, we stood and talked for probably, gosh, hour, hour and a half. Or even longer, I'm not really sure. But uh, then I realized how late it was getting. It's about 6.30 p.m. now. And I wanted to try to make it down to Whittleton Campground. But I know that there's a few places along here if I get too tired. Um, I'll probably have to night hike to get to Whittleton. But uh, I really had my stomach set on some McGill's pizza tonight. But, um, I don't know. Maybe I will camp before I get to uh, Whittleton. And then, by the time I walk tomorrow, I'll get to McGill's midday in time for pizza. So, that's update. I'll update you when I decide, or I'll do another video when I decide what I want to do.